What's up YouTube? So, got a little bit of an update for you guys since I gave up on the other video that I had planned on uploading. But, <clears throat> I, I have this up on Instagram too. I hope you can see this. Maybe it's not bright enough. But, I did do a digital camo. Just yellow and with a black uh, overlay and just the sidewalls. I didn't want to do the scoop because that place gets pretty dirty and it's e really easy to clean off your uh, sidewalls other than the, s the scoop because there's you get some really bad burns there from the ball and from turf and stuff. Sidewalls it's just ball burns and scoop like from passes and those can come off real easy with a with a sponge and some water and some soap but so this is a oh, if you guys remember this head it's the old old uh, warrior outlaw and yeah I was thankfully I was able to peel off the original uh, ball stop and put digital all through down to the throat and back up the other side so I what I first first thing I did was just put a nice yellow base over everything, a nice golden yellow from Rit Dye. And then I got the water boiling again and threw in some black once I put it in my, one of my trash bins that I use for dyeing. And before, obviously before that, I went through and put some digital camo on it. And now I can't, I have a vinyl cutter. But sometimes I like to use electrical tape, like a lot of people do, like Greg from East Coast Dyes. And so, this is one of my old heads that I got a while ago, and I just decided to do something cool with it, just to make sure that I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty good at dyeing like I think I am. I mean, I, this is probably the most complex thing that I've done on a head so far, but a lot of the uh, digital camo dyes that I've seen lately from pretty much all these big name guys I've realized and I don't think they've realized is that they're doing a digital camo wrong there's a uh, I mean I'm in the army so yeah I just got back but if you if you notice correctly that they sit over top of each other all like all three colors so uh, sorry uh, with how a lot of guys do it is they will put on some their tape first put on their design a just a couple designs to keep the white they'll dye it the yellow put more tape on without taking off any tape putting put more tape on get that to seal right then dip it in red or whatever color or other color they want to use and then put more on put more tape on without overlaying or anything seal those to the head and then dye it all black or just leave it or whatever the the proper I mean I I, I can't show you because I haven't done it yet but this is actually the proper way to make it look like it is actual digital camo that us mili like people me and other people in the military would wear so the proper way to do it is and once again this is not the proper way this is just something simple that I wanted to test out test out and make this nice old repinched head look cool yeah it used to be straight if you remember how outlaws look but now it's pinched and if anybody remembers an outlaw they're very flexible so they could be a face-off head if you know how to do it if you if you pinch it properly like I did but the proper way to do digital camo is put <coughs> excuse me put big pieces of digital camo so you can kind of see like um like this piece right here put slightly bigger pieces so you get like a lot more white area covered and do that all over wherever you plan on doing it, it the easiest place is to do it is on the inside of the walls a lot of people try and do it on the outside and I don't know, I think it just looks good where it looks all plain on the outside and then BAM you got digital camo on the inside. But anyway, so you put down the bigger pieces like this one all throughout, no little itty bitty pieces like 
like that one right there. Uh, no itty bitty pieces, just big pieces to cover up as much space as possible, but still leaving a lot of area to where you can get that first color to stay. So you do that, dye it the first color, peel, and yes, it's going to take a little longer to do this, but you peel off all that tape, put more on, put another set on to where you're actually going over and actually coming off of the digital camo design that is there now. So, for example, if I were to take a piece of digital camo and put it halfway on and halfway off this yellow and say the black was white instead, but put it halfway on the two colors and make it seem like it's a random pattern and then do that the whole way through so that there's still black, uh, yellow and white showing and then you seal, you seal your tape to it so it doesn't come off and then you dye your next color. You dye it either black, finish it off with your black or put red on it because red goes over yellow pretty well but you put the red over it, peel it all off again and yeah this is going to sound ridiculous and then what you want to do is it's really up to you but what I would think and what I've done for somebody else is that I either put another set of large or medium sized tape bits over top halfway on halfway off random ways over top of those two old colors like those two old three colors the, those three old colors sorry getting mixed up but uh you randomly place over top of those all those old colors and then you finish it off with the black and then you peel all that off and then it's gonna look insane it's gonna look like a crazy jigsaw puzzle which is exactly what a four color digital camo will look like and should look like and if you do if you only do three colors it's still gonna look sick if you do it that way a lot of guys they like I said earlier did they just do one or two colors but they don't overlay the they don't overlay them and that's how it's supposed to be with a digital camera so if you guys use this go ahead and hit me a share or something let me know because if, if you actually do use this and it doesn't work for you let me know and I'll go over my whole process again and try and get it right but in my eyes that is the proper digital camo if that is what you want on your head so Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from this, and I really hope it actually works for you, because it works for me. Thanks, guys.